Hello everyone, this is Sean and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring AOP and uh, how Spring AOP works. And like always, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, please turn on the notifications so that you never miss a video on my channel. So there are various aspects uh, which are common across uh, all applications such as logging, security, uh, exception handling and stuff. And these are needed in multiple classes and multiple modules. These are common across multiple modules and multiple classes. And uh, writing code for each and every module, writing the same code in each and every module or each and every class is not really a good idea. So this is when Spring AOP uh, comes in handy. So let's get started by uh, taking a look at what Spring AOP is. So Spring AOP enables aspect-oriented programming in Spring applications. In AOP, aspects enable the modularization of concerns such as transaction management, logging, or security that cut across multiple classes and methods, which are often term termed as cross-cutting concerns. AOP provides a way to dynamically add the cross-cutting concern before, after, or around the actual logic using simple pluggable configurations makes easy to maintain code by separating the business code from the aspect code. Uh, let's take a look at the terms that are associated with AOP. An important term in AOP is advice. It is the action taken by an aspect at a particular join point. And what is join point? Join point is a point of execution of the program such as the execution of a method or the handling of an exception. In Spring AOP, a join point always represents method execution. Point cut is a predicate or expression that matches join points. Advice is associated with the point cut expression and runs at any join point matched by the point cut. Spring uses the aspect J point cut expression language by default. And what are the types of advices? Before advice, advice that executes before a join point, but which does not have the ability to prevent execution flow proceeding to the join point unless it throws an exception. After returning advice, advice to be executed after a join point completes normally. For example, if a method returns without throwing an exception. After throwing advice, advice to be executed if a method ex exits by throwing an exception. After advice, advice to be executed regardless of the means by which a join point exits, normal or exceptional return. And around advice, advice that surrounds a join point such as a method invocation. This is the most powerful kind of advice. Around advice can perform custom behavior before and after the method invocation. It is also responsible for choosing whether to proceed to the join point or to shortcut the advice method execution by returning its own value or throwing an exception. So now let's take a look at a demo project. So I have already created this project named Spring AOP Demo and Let's take a look at the dependencies for this project by going inside the pom.xml file. All right, so these are the dependencies that we have for this project. We have Spring Boot Starter, Spring Boot Starter Test, Spring Context, Spring Context Support, Spring AOP, Aspect JRT, Aspect J Weaver, Spring Boot Starter Web, and Spring Boot Dev Tools. So Spring Boot Context, Spring Boot Context Support, Spring AOP, Aspect JRT, Aspect J Weaver, these are for Spring AOP. These dependencies are meant for Spring AOP. Now let's take a look at the classes that we have inside this project. So for this demonstration, I have just uh, put all the classes inside the same package. And this is essentially going to be the, the entry point for uh, this application. So we have this annotation Spring Boot application here, which makes this application a Spring Boot application. And then we have enable Aspect J Auto Proxy. So this would enable uh, Spring AOP for our application. And that is basically it for this class. Now let's take a look at this controller, student controller. So this is a very simple controller that I have created. And I've named it, named it student controller. And I put the request mapping here. I've annotated it as a risk controller. And then we have these three methods here, 
fund is get student uh, and then it returns a string which is essentially a JSON string and then uh, it also prints something here inside method get student and then we have this method get student by id and then we have this method exception case so this basically throws an exception before uh, after printing uh, this statement inside method exception case and then it throws an exception so that's it for this class and now let's take a look at this class called logging aspect so this is basically uh, the aspect class uh, that I've created and I've annotated it as an aspect and then this is again a component so spring would create a beam for this class while loading the application context and here we have these methods so these are basically the advices that we have for our uh, uh, join points so first we have a before advice and uh, this is the expression or this is the point cut for which this uh, advice should be executed so it just prints something it just prints entering method uh, then uh, the signature of the met method and then again we have a before uh, advice so this this advice is uh, for all the classes and uh, for sorry for all the methods inside the student controller class and this advice is for a particular method inside uh, the student controller class and then we have uh, an after advice so this is again for all the methods inside the student controller class and then again we have an after advice for a particular method inside the student controller class and then we have after returning so if uh, a method returns without throwing an exception then uh, this particular advice would be executed and then we have after throwing advice so if a method uh, throws an exception then this particular advice would be executed and apart from this we have an application properties file which says server.port equals to 8082 so this application web application is not run on port 8082 so now let's see how this works by running the application I'm gonna say one as and spring boot app I'm gonna test this using postman all right so first we're gonna hit this uh, endpoint and we're gonna invoke this method controller method from postman so I'm just gonna say localhost 808 to API v1 student I'm gonna click on send okay so we have the response here uh, student test 1 te uh, test student 1 and age is 20 so that is what we are returning here and we also have a few statements printed in the console so first we have entering the method entering method string com dot demo dot student controller dot get student so this is getting printed from the before advice so this is getting printed here so this expression matches uh, the particular method that is the student controller method that is getting invoked and this gets printed entering method and then signature of the met method so this is what we see here in this line and then inside methods uh, get student this is what we are printing from inside the method that is getting invoked and then exiting method this is uh, the after advice so this piece of code gets executed here and this is what we are printing here exiting method and then uh, the, the signature of the particular method and then here we have this after returning advice that is getting executed so here we are just printing the signature of the method and then executed successfully so this is what we see here now let's try another uh, 
another endpoint. So I'm gonna grab this and this basically throws an exception. It does it doesn't return uh, any uh, response. It rather throws an exception. So I'm just gonna paste it here. send this request okay so we have an exception here let's go back to the console so we have a message written here exception thrown so this is what we are sending in inside uh, the constructor the exception constructor and then we also have a few uh, statements that are getting printed in the console so inside method exception first we have this entering method uh, string com dot demo dot student controller dot exception case so this is getting printed by the before advice and then in inside method exception case this we are printing here and then we have this exiting method so this is the uh, the after after uh, advice that we have and then string com dot demo dot student controller dot exception case through an exception. So this is the after throwing uh, advice that we have written here. So this was a very simple example of how Spring AOP works. I'm going to share this project with you guys, and I'm going to share the link for the GitHub repository in the description below. And uh, that is basically all about this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up and if you want me to make a video on any topic uh, you may comment it uh, in the comment section below and I'll try to make a video on that particular topic and thanks for watching